you're looking at a 10 inch C-Cook howitzer model of 1839. Uh, this gun was uh, designed, built, and made in, 19, in 1840. Uh, it was one of the first of its kind. They made three. This is one of the ones that they sent to Fort Monroe to test to make sure everything works well. So we're looking at an experimental first 10-inch Seacoast Hauser, by the way, that the U.S. has ever had. This is the first time this gun has fired since they tested it at Fort Monroe in 1840. So why so many years? Why did so many years pass? Uh, rejected as, the, as not the proper uh, gun to go into production, so it was like an experimental weapon that was put on a shelf. Right, don't let it climb up on this. <coughs> For fear it'll pull it off. Yeah, okay, now good. go up and down and make that sure you, you got a good hole in that bag. Good. Yeah. You're set. You got yeah. Then, this, then you can just about the right side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got an extra one. That's a misfire. I'll have. Hey. Fire. <laughs> worked very well, but they found it was too heavy to operate uh, and get an, any, any amount of out of, you know, rounds out per hour. So they decided to redesign it lighter so to get more rounds off. And they designed it twice over. Finally, I think it was 1845, they came up with a new uh, concept and that's what went into production. Who uh, designed it is this man right here, George Bomford. Okay. And George Bomford is a man who was our second chief of ordnance in the U.S. His dad, to show you dates here, his dad was an officer in the British Army during the American Revolution. Uh, he was born in 1804, and he uh, uh, was the uh, uh, he was in the, the army for a long time, and finally he retired, and somebody else took his place right after the Civil War. The, uh, the gun weighs, uh, the gun barrel weighs approximately 18,000 pounds, and that's one of the reasons why they had to redesign it. Uh, to give you an idea of that, of that weight, this barrel weighs just as much as that mortar weighs. And that was just too much for the men to manage. Uh, they would tire them out real easy. So anyway, they eventually came up with the proper gun, which was eventually manufactured and used uh, in some of our sequels forts during the war. The, uh, the carriage that's on is called a center pintle uh, columbiad carriage. Uh, th that means that the, the, the carriage pivots from the middle and that means you can move the gun 360 degrees. Uh, the uh, carriage that sits on the chassis uh, rolls on, uh, skids on, those, uh, on that chassis and that's what checks the recoil. Uh, in order to move it back out from battery to load, you have to uh, you have to cantilever the axle and axles of uh, the four axles on there and uh, move the wheels, you know, with bars and move it to the rear and then shock it. Then they load it and they, uh, then they unshock it and roll it to the, to the front, to the front herders. That puts the barrel in the embrasure ready for firing. What size ordnance would this shoot? How many pound ordnance would okay, this shoot? The, uh, the, uh, it's fire the 10 inch shell that weighs 92 pounds. Uh, it, it fires a solid shot that weighs 135 pounds. Maximum uh, amount of powder used in this gun is 25 pounds. And what did we shoot off today? Uh, six pounds. I love this one. Excellent. Good job, boys. Amazing. Uh, <laughs>